the low light capabilities of our cameras have always managed to blow my mind. I mean, just using software, they're able to recreate an image or a video that's brighter and more detailed than what we can see with our own eyes. How amazing is that? When I was just browsing Kickstarter last night, I found this really interesting product called DuoVox Mate Pro. It's a camera that allows you to capture night as if it were day. They call it the most advanced true color night vision camera. You know, most night vision is usually grayscale to capture the most amount of details. You know, it's usually black and white stuff. But this is a full color camera that captures almost all colors in the night as if it was daytime. It operates at 0.0001 lux. It, it's almost like an overcast night with just moonlight to capture images. Now, moonlight photography and videography isn't anything new. In fact, many YouTubers like uh, Josh Yeo has done that using Sony cameras. You need a crazy wide aperture to do that and they have done it on a full moon's night. But this is nowhere near full moon level of light. It has almost a 2K form factor sensor, so you can get pretty good looking images out of it. You can record videos in 2K without using any flash and if you do need a light, it does have a pretty powerful one built into it. Yeah, that circular thing you see over there, that's a flashlight. Now they have made some comparisons with GoPros, which I don't really think is a direct comparison to that because, you know, GoPros are not made for their night vision capabilities. But still, I, I, I guess it's a fair comparison. You use GoPros in all kinds of conditions, so it may be a good idea to have this in your camera bag, but it does have a few downsides though. It doesn't seem to have autofocus, so you can't really stay very close to it, meaning that you can't use it for vlogging. And the software has a few bugs at the moment, like it doesn't clearly tell you if the SD card is missing or if the SD card is almost full. Now of course it is in its early stages, by the time they finish it, I'm sure they'll fix most of these things. But yeah, this will for sure capture better looking night videos than your smartphone. And it's a pretty compact form factor, like it doesn't have any interchangeable lenses, there are no moving elements, that's it. It's really easy to slip it in your pocket and carry it with you, which is the whole point. You are supposed to take this outside with you for hiking or wherever in, in slightly darker environments without having to worry about capturing good footage. Yes, the footage is noisy and grainy because, you know, there's, there's basically no light in those areas, but the fact that it can bring up this much detail is pretty impressive. They are also featuring it as a dash cam, so it comes with an adapter which you can keep on your car, so it can capture pretty well lit shots in the night when you're driving through. Now again, the software can use a few more features like electronic stabilization because it doesn't have any stabilization whatsoever. So videos out of this will be really shaky, which you'll have to stabilize in post. They have made some comparisons to Huawei's Mate 40 Pro in night mode, which I'm not so sure if this, it's a direct comparison because Huawei's night mode is pretty crazy. I've seen it. I, I guess we can take their word for it for now. Now, this thing also has Wi-Fi built into it, meaning that you can use it as a wireless webcam for streaming. <laughs> Streaming on an extreme night vision camera, that can be an interesting thing. It's using the StarWiz 2 sensor, which has pixels 244% bigger than the sensor on the Sony A7S 3 I mean, the A7S 3 is a crazy good low-light camera, so this is a pretty bold comparison right here. It apparently has 22 stops of dynamic range, which is higher than most cinema cameras. Like, the RED cameras have, I think, 16 stops of dynamic range. Uh, but again, it's, it is a characteristic of these low light cameras which favor detail more than shadows. So it basically has no shadows at all. It's not always a good thing, but for this use case, I guess it makes sense. So it has a bunch of shooting modes which are pretty standard for most action cameras. And you can grab one for yourself at the price of 599 USD. If you want the whole bundle, like the protective case, the mount and everything, it'll be $100 more. I mean, they have a point, like 599 USD for all of these features is pretty comparable to most other cameras out there which are much more expensive than this. I mean the 1 over 1.8 inch sensor at f0.9 aperture, it's crazy wide. You can easily get moonlit shots at f1 aperture. This thing is a little bit more than that, it's f0.9 so it's super fast. Fast pretty much means it has a much larger aperture meaning that it lets in more light. So you can push the shutter speed even faster. That's why they are called fast lenses. A pretty compact but powerful product, isn't it? What do you think? I'll leave a link to their Kickstarter page in the description so you can find out more details. Are you interested in night vision photography? Like what kind of apps do you use on your phone or do you have a camera? Let me know in the comments.